Hey guys, the dude at two, and today I'd like to um, talk about uh, life and death. Um, I'd like to continue what we started earlier. Um, last video, um, I was showing uh, living shapes, and this video I want to show um, dead shapes or um, shapes that I guess kill. Um, uh, as we talked about before. These are some of the um, dead shapes, and there are others, but these are the most basic. Remember, I'm, I'm trying to keep these very basic, and then we'll move on to some more advanced stuff uh, as I get a little more advanced in life and death. Um, as I said, I've been studying life and death almost exclusively for about um, three weeks now, and I feel like I've gotten a lot stronger with uh, the life and death that we talked about. Um, once again, uh, for quick review, these are um, some of the, the basic dead shapes, and a lot of them all have something to do with this empty triangle. Um, you know, if you add, uh, let's see, if you add a stone, you know, it looks like this. If you add another stone, it looks like this or this. But uh, they all seem to be based off of this uh, ugly, uh, ugly shape. Um, so. What we're going to do is I got um, four more problems, and we're going to use these corner problems to make um, the white group die. Um, and we're going to do that by making a dead shape inside of white shape. Um, uh, all of these problems have right and wrong answers. It's kind of one of the reasons why I picked them. So if you mess up and you make a living shape, the group will live. And if you play it right and you make a dead shape the group will die. So I thought it'll be a nice uh, jump from just doing living shapes to doing um, the living and the dead shapes. Now you gotta bear with me uh, with the camera here because as I've mentioned many times I'm not a professional. But let's uh, zoom into one of these problems. Okay, you should, looks like you'll be able to see this one pretty good. Um, so here we have a white shape on the outside, or I guess a white shape that's under attack, and we have three black stones inside. Now we remember um, a living shape is a bent four, so it looks like if black plays in here, because it's always all these moves are black, black to play. Um, looks like if black plays in here, we have the bent four shape, but um, we want to try to make a dead shape, so. I guess let me get my stones out. Okay. So there's a dead shape right there, right? Um, this will kill the group because once white is removed, um, uh, white's not going to be able to make any eyes. So let's try. <coughs> let's try. And then black kills, right? So let's see what happens if black plays here. Well, then white will play here, and black still has this dead shape. So it kills. What if white plays here? Well, it's Black's turn, so Black kind of has this one. What if Black plays here? Black has this ugly shape, which is a dead shape, which will win. Um, let's just assume, because this is a dead shape, let's just assume that White plays here killing this. So now it's Black's turn. Right? Black gets another attempt at trying to kill. Can Black make a dead shape inside? Now well, let's see. I guess uh, what would White try to do? Maybe something like this to try to get eyes. Right? And Black will play up. 
Now no matter what white does, black's going to get his dead shape, right? If white doesn't play, black can play here making another dead shape or here making another dead shape. And if white does play, black makes another dead shape, which would kill it. Let's once again, let's just assume it's white's turn. Black has this dead shape and white plays. Now it's black's turn. Black plays the spot, preventing white from making two eyes. So we showed that even though, um, well, once black makes a dead shape, even if white kills it, it allows black to make another dead shape, which white will kill, and another dead shape. And uh, it's different variations of these, right? First, you make this shape. Then you make this shape, then you make this shape, or some combination of those. But uh, as long as you can make one of these shapes, all subsequent shapes will be some variation of this which will kill it. Um, this is generally speaking, basically. Okay. So let's, uh, let's get rid of this problem and let's tackle three more. And then uh, maybe do a brief overview. And then uh, we'll talk about future life death videos. Uh, seems to be uh, pretty helpful for a lot of people. I hope that's the case. Um, so let's, let's try... Where are we? Here. Alright. So here's another example. Uh, black is already in this uh, dead shape, and it's black's turn. So we know um, that this is the dead shape black is looking for, right? Playing right here. Uh, if black plays wrong, white is going to win. He's going to have two eyes. So black has to play the proper dead shape move, right? This is not the proper dead shape move. This will kill black and lose. So black has to play here. So white plays here. And this is why. The dead four is a dead shape. Now it's black's turn. Where do you think black plays? Well, black's going to play in a spot that prevents white from making two eyes. Uh, so white says, all right, well, you know, I'll play here. Says, I'll play up. White kills. And white's down to just one eye. So white's going to lose. Uh, it's all depending on them, them dead shapes there. Uh, let's get these. Let's check out another problem. Let me just wiggle the board around. Yeah, here we go. So, black to play. Uh, black wants to make a dead shape. Now we have to think carefully about this because, remember, the bent four is a living shape. So if black plays here, we have to be careful about making a, a bad move like this, right? Because this is a living shape. So, to be safe, and there are, you know, other things to consider, but remember, we're trying to forget everything and keep it as basic as possible. This be a dead shape right here. So, you know, not considering these things here. This is also a dead shape. So, if we assume you could pull this dead shape off, this group should be dead. And then you find the vital point. And now white plays here, hoping to play here, right? Uh, but black, black wants that, wants that other dead shape. White, white's, white's kind of screwed, right? Um, by the way, this three in a row also a dead shape. Uh, this three in a row here is also a dead shape. So 
um, you know, white screwed. So we go here, and black plays this shape, killing all of them. So, um, another example of those dead shapes. And then let's, uh, let's do this last board here. Spin it around. Okay. Um, here we have uh, something a little more complicated. We have, um, let's straighten these out a little bit. Sorry about that. Moving the board screwed them a bit. Here we have black uh, and a bit of a pickle, right? He's double Atari and you got white and single Atari. Uh, what we need to remember is we want black to make a dead shape to kill this white group. So how do we do it? Right? If black plays here, white's going to take. Black can't play here, it's suicide. And the only other option is for black to play here. Can black make a dead shape by playing one of these? Well, this is not. This is not a dead shape. So black will have to capture here. Now it's white's turn. Uh, white has two options, right? White can play here or here. This is suicide. Either way that white plays gives black that dead shape. See the dead shape? Or white plays here. Black can still play here dead shape. So what does that mean for white? Well, white captures. And it's almost always a vital point black can play after that, which would prevent white from making two eyes, which is why it's considered a dead shape. Uh, if you can't read that out, let's finish it here. this one doesn't matter and it's dead right we well, can't play here it's suicide anytime later black can play here kill them all do celebrities um, so that's about it um, for this basic lesson on dead shapes so in the first video I covered basic uh, living shapes and in this video I'm covering basic dead shapes now, as was pointed to my attention, um, there are exceptions to these rules. Uh, they're rare. For instance, um, in video one, uh, thanks for uh, the comment. Um, in video one, I talked about event four. In video one, I talked about the bent four shape right here. And uh, I said that uh, it was alive. Well, most of the time it is alive, but there are exceptions to uh, great, there's a B in here. Uh, there are exceptions to the rules, and uh, it's not unconditionally alive. Uh, for instance, if it's bent in a corner uh, in a certain way, uh, it's, it's a dead shape. So um, take these as general rules, and we'll get into a little more specifics a little later. But uh, thank you, uh, whoever posted the comment. I'm sorry I didn't write your name down. I'll try to remember to give you credit with the, the caption on top. Um, but that's about it. Um, thank you guys for your feedbacks and your comments. Uh, I'm glad a lot of you guys like this life and death, uh, I, I guess, series. Uh, everybody's calling everything series nowadays. But I'm um, just going over some basics. Um, that's about it. If you have any specific questions that aren't too complicated, because remember, I'm still, uh, I'm still relatively weak in life and death, feel free to ask. And um, that's about it. Hopefully next week we'll cover some uh, techniques for increasing your eye space and for, um, I guess, taking away your opponent's eye space. And then we'll go over some basic techniques for capturing uh, in life and death. But uh, that's about it. I want to thank you guys for all your support. And uh, we're getting close to Christmas time, so uh, maybe I'll get some new uh, ghost stuff to review. That's about it. Uh, thank you guys. I'll, I'll see you next video. Thanks.